Hey guys, what is up? This is Bajax. I'm here to another amazing, interesting HSR video. But this time, I'm going to talk about Genshin Impact also. Because in this video, I'm going to see in what aspects Honkai Stardust did a little bit better than Genshin Impact. So, let's see. But first, let's get it straight because I'm not going to compare the end game between these two games because there is not too many players who have reached the end game level yet in Honkai Star Rail. So, I'm going to talk about other things than end game. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, you should subscribe for more HSR content. I am thinking about making more some Genshin Impact content also. So, if you want to watch them, you should subscribe right now. And if you are liking this video, you should press the like button also. It makes sense, right? So let's start with the daily mission and friend's health. In Genshin Impact, you need to visit different places in the map and complete the objective. And then you need to visit Catherine to get the completion reward. This is not bad, but in Stardell, they did it better. Like uh, you need to complete the daily mission here also, but the daily missions are you can complete them while you you do the daily farming you do the simulated universe because uh, the daily missions are like those if you can complete them while doing your daily stuff also with 1.1 update in honkai star there is a new feature came up you can now collect all the mission rewards that you get with only one click you do not need to click multiple times that is also a good quality of life feature now if i uh, want to talk about the friend's health in Genshin Impact, you can call your friends in your world. They can came, uh, come and help you in do multiple stuff like uh, beating the boss and all the things. But in Honkai Stardale, you can use other person character by replacing your fourth character slot. Now you can use different character. For example, if you don't have Sile like me, I don't have Sile. I can use Sile in my team while farming or while uh, do some uh, boss stuff you can use sile if you don't have also you can use other uh, person character and that is also a good thing because if you are using the character of other person they also get benefit from it because they get credits for that and credits is a very limiting thing in the honkai style that you need now let's talk about the events in honkai style and in genshin impact in both of them there are multiple events that happen in every patch and you can uh, play in those events and get some rewards but in honkai style they added a new feature in the 1.1 update named conventional memoir i already made a separate video on that you can see that video i will give the link in the description you can watch that video after this one but with this event with this system we can play old events in the new updates genshin player who were asking for this feature for god knows how long but whoever listened to them and implemented it but not in the genshin impact but in honka Stardale. now let's talk about the best thing in the gacha game or we can say the worst thing in the gacha game wishing system in most of the part starter gacha is same as genshin like there is 90 pt system 50 50 chance of getting your standard five star and uh, limited five star and also there is soft pt but there are some upgrades the major upgrade to it than Genshin impact like if you wish in standard banner 300 times you can choose this five star standard banner character of your choice it is very good because if you don't know there were many people who uh, were in uh, Genshin Impact launch, they wanted Deluxe so bad, but because of their luck, they did not get Deluxe after more than 500 pulls or so. So now, if you wanted a guarantee character from Standard Banner, you need to only pull 300 pulls. Also, for now, in Weapon Banner, there is only one weapon, not like Genshin Impact. In Genshin Impact, there is two weapons. There is a 50-50 chance of getting one of them. But in uh, Honkai Style, there is only one uh, rate of weapon. You get a 75-25 chance of getting that uh, weapon or the Standard Weapon in the Weapon Banner. So this, in, in this aspect also, so Honkai Style is slightly better for now. Uh, than Genshin Impact. Now we are here at dialogue writing. Dialogue writing is the heart and base of story games. We know that Honkai Star Rail and uh, the Genshin Impact is a gacha game but we also know that these games have some amazing stories and we can say that uh, Star Rail did a little bit better job than Genshin Impact in the story aspect. Honkai Star Rail has uh, the perfect blend of humor, happiness and character depth which make it better than Genshin Impact dialogues. It is not like everybody is welcoming you from the start just because you are the main character. And this proven many times from the first interaction with uh, Sile and up to the meeting with Wukong when she politely declines your help, right? 
and you can see this dialogue problem in Genshin Impact when you play the Inazuma's R conquest where Raiden does not welcome you actually does opposite of it <laughs> she tries to kill you right uh, and uh, that was the amazing story and if you don't know there is a secret ending in Honkai Star Rail game that Genshin does not have like uh, when Emiko asks you to join the Astral Express if you decline her politely of course don't be rude with Emiko okay so there will be a cutscene that will play and you will become a lab rat for some time for Harta. Then you will become a researcher in uh, uh, the Harta space station. The Astral Express will, will visit some time but you will not be the part of the story. The story will end for you there only. But this is not the end of the game. The cutscene will end and screen will be black and again you will given a choice of accepting Himiko's offer and like this these dialogues will change the game and give the game a life and I am not talking about this thing in Genshin Impact you can see in the uh, screen right now there is nothing changing in the dialogue both of them are a part of the same sentence why they are different dialogues I know Honkai style dialogues also do not affect the story but at least they have some cool interaction with the characters. So last but not the least auto battling and farming. Auto battling is a bonus where you press one button and your work is done. I know it will be little difficult for Genshin to implement a system like this as it is an open world game and the battle system is little bit complicated but if it is not there I'll say it right. Next is a very important thing farming. Farming is very frustrating when it comes to essential material, books, these, that, very things. Oh, there are so many things you need to farm for your characters. And these are only available on certain days. And there is only one sixty reason to spare in one day. So why is that? When you reach the end game, leveling up your characters and their weapons becomes harder because specific resource you can only get on certain days. I'm not gonna say this, but all of this problem were fixed in Honkai Star Rail, so they can do this in Genshin Impact also, but they did not do this. Making farming the necessary calyx available every day in Honkai Star Rail. If you are the in the mood to level up whatever light cone, whatever character, you will be given the liberty to do so whenever you want with the increased level cap of a 180 tail blaze power so they increase the reason also so they can do that but they did not do it in Genshin Impact but why no one knows also now you can farm six round or at a time in Star Rail Genshin Impact's condensed reason is better here because you need to do one run and you get uh, two runs worth of the thing but it is only double the rewards not six times so that is it that is the comparison guys if i missed anything please write them in the comments and remember that i am not saying one game is completely better than other because both of them are different in nature one is turn-based rpg and other is open world adventure both of them are good I really love Genshin but there are things that Honkai Star Rail do better than Genshin Impact so I need to tell this right. There are many more things that Hoyoverse did implement in Honkai Star Rail better than Genshin Impact and there are many things that uh, Genshin Impact community was asking Hoyoverse to bring in the game but they bring it, they implemented it but not in Genshin Impact but in Honkai Star Rail. So I can make a part 2 of this video if you want to watch the video you should subscribe this channel right now go below and press that white button it is absolutely free so you should subscribe and also like this video so i get to know that you want to see the part two of this video so that was the video guys i hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you guys in the next one until then keep playing